Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new release video. It's case day once again, and today, 2020 Panini Absolute Baseball came out. It went on sale today around 1 p.m. Eastern time, and the word is that they sold out their entire supply in about an hour. So I'm looking forward to seeing what is in this box right here. You can see it's not a very big box. There are only two packs in the box, and there's 10 cards per pack, but it's jam-packed with hits. As you see, there's, uh, it looks like four autographs and two memorabilia cards per box on average. So we're going to have a lot of hits coming out of this product. Pretty excited for that. Now uh, that should make this a little interesting and, um, and we're also doing a break on this. I have one case. I was only able to get my hands on one full case of 10 boxes of these. We'll be breaking that Sunday, um, Sunday evening. So you can see it says, look for rookie baseball material signatures. Bo Bichette is the cover guy of this uh, release. Previously, some of you that collect Panini products may remember Absolute showing up in Chronicles last year as one of the uh, subsets in the Chronicles uh, release, but it gets its own standalone set this year. So let's get to ripping this. We do have a sponsor for this video. That's Brian. Brian will be receiving all of the cards in this video. Hopefully he gets some good ones. So without further ado, let's see what we can find in these two packs and that's it just two packs but lots of autos so you can see um just slides on out of there and instead of two packs it's actually two little boxes here so this is obviously my first time opening absolute um pretty cool i was expecting packs to be in there but two mini boxes there's the inside we'll probably just take this housing unit and just toss that in the trash all right, so I haven't yet decided how I'm going to do the break of this in terms of sell selling it. I may sell it per box, per mini box, or I might sell it per uh, master box. We'll see. We'll start with the left. Brian's got both of them, so it doesn't really matter. Take a look at the box. Bobichette once again on the box, and it just tells you all the stuff that you can find in here. I'm hoping for some good signatures and stuff. Let's gently put a little slice on the uh, cellophane and get this opened up. I'll be interested to see if there's another um, little pack of cards inside here. Let's see it. Well, sort of. You have a little kind of like, uh, not team bag, but another little clear cellophane pack. There's the hits in the middle. There's a grand total of six hits in here. I haven't yet seen the checklist. I just checked cardboard connection earlier today and it was still not put up there so we start off with ken griffey jr and um let's check out the back of this card as well you can see nick senzel is going to be the next card there's the back of it gives you his career stats and a little bit about griffey and his career taking off we got a nick senzel xander bogarts looks like the hits are going to be coming up very very soon uh, there's Pete Alonso. Uh, probably, I, I guess I'm going to use the spacer for these. Otherwise, it just kind of spoils the fun. I, I like it when the higher end releases have built in spacers, little um, pieces of paper to separate the hits. Pete Alonso. Next up, we have a Yachty Molina numbered out of 99. So, nice looking card right there. Here's the back of it. And now we get to the hits. Like I said, there's a grand total of. Um, three hits per box. Here is our first one. I guess what I'll do is I'll just put them down. I'll make it a little easier on me instead of trying to do two things at once. So our hit, it's going to be our first one is a tools of the trade. And it is going to be Donnie Walton, um, out of 49. So a pretty cool card. Like it says on the box, there are, a grand total of two memorabilia cards in each box, and we get one of them out of the way right now. Four autographs, though, so this is for a relic card. It's a pretty cool looking card. I kind of like the um, refractor feel of it. There's the back of it. Donnie Walton, not the biggest hit. So these boxes, by the way, 
go for about $200 or maybe even a little more than that. I think after tax and shipping, you're going to probably pay about $215 per box off of the big boy websites like Steel City and Blowout Cards. Another tools of the trade, this one, it's okay. It is... We have some baby blue and some red. Maybe an older, it is a Twins. I was going to say an older Twins uni. It is going to be a Burt Blylevin. How about that? Hall of Famer Burt Blylevin out of 10. A nice low number there. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to find a relic and an autograph. Let's make it a Hall of Famer. Nice one right there for Brian Burt Blylevin. Check out the back of the card. Game worn, uh, game used material from Burt Blylevin. And you get a piece of his... Uh, a jersey as well, or not jersey, but a piece of the uh, numbering or lettering from his jersey, which is pretty awesome. So congrats on that one, Brian. You still have one more. This is the last hit. Uh, it is going to be a, it's a relic probably with an auto on it. It's a baseball, uh, manufactured baseball leather relic from Michael King out of 25. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the leather and lumber baseballs that they had last year. Still a pretty cool and card. It would be most appropriate with this coloring if it was a Pittsburgh Pirate with that black and gold. That would actually look pretty awesome. Um, if I had one suggestion for Panini, if they're going to do this kind of thing, it would be really cool if you made the stitching and um, the background and the ink all flow with the team's color. Like So maybe like uh, have some a white background with some blue for the Yankees. Uh, that's not the most uh, you know eye popping, but it would be cool if they had like uh, different colors, maybe like purple for the uh, Rockies and so on. So here's the other cards. We'll just show you. Then we have a Luis Robert introductions card. That's a nice one. The last card of our first mini box rookie roundup, Nico Horner. So those are the last two cards of the box. So there's also looks like there's going to be a a blaster option for this retail wise usually with panini at least this year we've had to wait like two weeks after the initial hobby release to see the stuff pop up on the shelves so you may see this at your local target or walmart as well let's keep that in the back of your mind as we look through our second pack again there's going to be a relic and there's going to be two autographs in here which is pretty darn awesome we got shohei otani on the back Looks like maybe all three hits are going to be relics and autos again, which is pretty cool. Hopefully, we get another Hall of Famer in this pack. All right, so here we go. We start off with a Mike Trout and Sandy Alcantara. There's the best player in baseball right there, Mike Trout. Sandy Alcantara. We have Cattell Marte who had a great season last year and a Babe Ruth. There's the back of the card like that one a lot now it's time to get the spacers ready here comes the hits hopefully they are good hits let's show you the last base card before the hits it's actually numbered out of 199 javi baez so our first hit from our second box it is going to be a it's a hall of famer or a future hall of famer i should say Adrian Beltre out of 49. Nice piece of his game used bat. Really nice looking relic in Panini Absolute. Um, kind of really like how, uh, like I said, these cards are presented there. Adrian Beltre, 3,000 hit club member. Awesome looking card right there. So that's pretty nice. Now let's see if the autograph can match up. Um, be with the, at least with the Burt Blyland. I want to find another Bly Levin. I want to find another top-notch auto in here and this one is going to be tools of the trade it's out of 70 and we have ourselves a logan webb so logan webb um not the most valuable card out there but it's out of 70 and you get three pieces of his jersey that means we have one autograph coming to conclude all of our hits You'll have to let me know in the comment section what you think of this Panini Absolute release. Is it absolute fire or is it absolute trash for $200? This last hit is going to uh, kind of sway my mind one way or another. All right, so we have, it is a Los Angeles, I don't know, it's probably, I'm going to guess the Dodgers. I uh, can't really tell since Panini's not allowed to use the major league names, just the cities. It is a rookie card. It would be really nice if this was a Gavin Lux. And it's Dustin May. Not too bad. Dustin May, 69 of 75. 
I was expecting Tony Gonsolin, uh, but Dustin May is the second best one it could have possibly been behind the Gavin Lux. Nice auto on that one. It is a, uh, a leather, it's not an actual baseball, but it looks like pink laces. It might look red on your screen, but it's definitely pink. Uh, as I look at it, it's uh, standing right here. There's the back of the card. Last couple cards. We have ourselves a, an absolute legend, Jimmy Fox. I haven't seen the checklist yet, but I have a feeling there are going to be some relics and stuff uh, from Hall of Famers and old-time legends like Jimmy Fox sprinkled throughout our case. And there's Shohei Otani is the last one. So, Brian, thank you very much. That's the preview of 2020 Absolute. Um, you can pick it up from Steel City or Block Cards, any of those big guys. Usually it's around 200, uh, probably 215 after you pay your tax and shipping on a box of those. And we'll be breaking that on Sunday night, probably around 8 p.m. Eastern time or maybe even a little after. Uh, but I'll put that up for sale on Patreon very soon. Thank you for your support, by the way. Uh, if you'd like to um, sign up for Patreon, it's $3 per month, which is $0.10 cents per day. Gives you access to all, our break, all of our breaks if you'd like to sign up for them. Uh, no new releases coming up now for the next uh, like 10 days. It doesn't look like anything's coming out for a little while, at least last time I checked. So this is the last one for um, a short hiatus, and then we'll be back towards the end of the month with a bunch of new stuff coming, um, and it just doesn't stop coming after that. It's like every week. So I hope you guys enjoy this new release preview video. I can't wait to do another one, and uh, I'm looking forward to the live stream on Sunday night. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday. And a great weekend, and I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.